Hey everyone, Yen here from Devolutions. In this video, we're taking a quick look at the latest updates across our entire solution lineup, from workforce password management to remote access and connection management, and even privilege access management. Our amazing team has put out quite a few features in this release. Now, while some of them are more behind the scenes, you know, architectural or performance related, the majority are specifically added to give you more flexibility and productivity while you work. So that's a good thing. So our product marketers have picked some of their top favorites, which I will showcase for you today. Obviously for the sake of time, can't cover everything in this release. So you'll definitely wanna check out their blogs and the release notes. Links are all in the description below. So let's jump right in and see what's new in 2025.2, starting with the ability to automatically give licenses to new users when they join a user group, both in Devolutions Hub Business and Devolutions Server. So for our example today, I'm in my Devolutions Hub Business. You can see I have a user group called Windjammer Users. Go back to administration and go to the licenses. I have a starter pack license right now for five users. And here you see that checkbox to auto assign to a specific group. Going to the assign tab, you'll see that Maurice Moss is the only user who has access. But if I log in as Kelly for the first time, she is now going to be part of that group automatically. If we go back to the administrator, Maurice Moss, you'll see here, if we go to licenses, there will be a new license that is attributed to Kelly since she has just joined this group. So it happens automatically, very easy. Now an often overlooked but critical operation is ensuring that hub owners have an up-to-date copy of their hub's emergency key. This key allows you to restore access to your hub in case of any issues. Now remember, Devolutions does not store your encryption keys, so you'll need a reliable way to regain access in an emergency. So here you'll notice that a pop-up has appeared and this should happen every six months or so where it gives you different options to either validate your emergency kit, it regenerate a brand new one, or simply say, I already have a valid emergency kit and you know where it is stored. Now, if you ever happen to realize you don't have that emergency key downloaded in your kit, well, you can always go to administration, emergency kit, and reset it, and it will download you a new one for you to store safely. As an administrator, knowing who accessed your hub business from which device can always be handy information. So you could stay on top of all the instances connected to your Devolutions Hub business with the user device listing, which is available by going to users and you'll see a new column saying last used device. So here you could see our various users. For example, Kelly used a workspace desktop and Maurice accessed it from the web and Phil used remote desktop manager to access the hub. Now in Devolution Server, the new centralized privilege sessions view lets you monitor all active sessions from one centralized location. So these are gateway sessions that are currently being run. So here I'm in remote desktop manager and you can see I have three active sessions that are being either recorded or run through the gateway. If I go to Devolution Server and I scroll down to the bottom, there is a new section called Privilege Session Monitoring, and you can see the three active sessions that are being run through the gateway. Here I can live session and play the recording. I can also end the session by terminating it right now. If I go back to RDM, you'll see that I closed that ARD. And if I refresh it here, you'll see that it's unable to connect to that host because I terminated it externally. Well, Linux users, it's finally here. The new workspace desktop client for Linux. It offers a familiar interface and experience. While it's not in the software center just yet, you can install it by downloading the deb file directly and make sure you have the required dependencies on hand. 
Continuing with Workspace along with a gateway integration, you can now open web-based sessions proxied through the Devolutions Gateway directly from Workspace. So there's no need to switch to RDM or Devolutions Launcher for basic tasks. It's a convenient way to handle lightweight administrative work quickly. So here you see I'm in Workspace, I have using DVLS as my space and connected to the domain controller. I can simply say open in-app session then it will pop up a new tab and open up that RDP running through the gateway in Devolutions Workspace. Switching on over to Remote Desktop Manager, we're always on the lookout to adding new integrations to help you get your work done more efficiently. So now Remote Desktop Manager supports one identity safeguard for privileged sessions directly in the credential entry. This routes your RDP connection through the one identity proxy. This also lets you take advantage of safeguards, session control, monitoring, and credential security features. We're also pleased to announce that we have added brand new SQL Server or SQL Server management directly inside of RDM without having to install SSMS. Opening up this dashboard reveals that you can manage things just like in any other dashboard that we have with various options. You can run queries, you can manage logins and roles, you could browse tables and view logs, and even start and stop the SQL Server instance right from here. Obviously, this is an administrative function, so be careful what you do, but as you can see, it makes it so much easier to get work done without having to install SSMS locally on that workstation. We're also really excited that our teams are using Avalonia framework to help cross-platform functions in Remote Desktop Manager especially. So for my example here, I have a pre-Avalonia uh, SFTP file transfer, which looks very Windows-ish, there's nothing wrong with it. It worked quite well, but with Avalonia, we can now do SFTP drag and drop. It also offers better performance and more options. Now for the final stretch, let's take a look at some PAM functionalities. We can now have the ability to configure PAM accounts without having to go through the checkout approval system. So you can set the checkout policy to none and the passwords can be viewed without forcing an immediate reset. It's especially great for workflows where resets are scheduled overnight or handled manually. So here I have a privileged account that the policy has been set to none. If I view the password, Heard, you can see that the checkout approval process did not pop up at all and I can still reset the password and now the password has been rotated. Great for specific workflows where resets are scheduled or handled manually. Managing privilege accounts has gotten more flexible. You can now use some new built-in PAM providers, including Azure AD, Enter ID, and on-prem AD in Hub, plus AWS IAM and PostgreSQL in both Hub and DVLS. So for my quick example here, I'm going to add a PostgreSQL user. I'll have to fill in the required information to be able to connect to that account provider. And then it'll prompt me to start the scan configuration where I can name it and tell it which database I want it to look at. Finally, when I go to the scan configuration, I can see what it discovered. I can select on the results and then pick the privileged account I want to manage in my Devolution server. And then I'll import that account into a specific folder. And then now you'll see it is available. I checked the status, it's synchronized, and I can reset the password if needed. And finally, we have something exciting in preview. It's our privilege elevation and delegation management functionality. And this allows the Devolutions agent to elevate specific processes for users using controlled policies in RDM. It's a great way to manage elevation without over-provisioning. So in Remote Desktop Manager, you'll notice we have a new section under Tools for PEDM. I can start by going to the Policy Manager and I'm gonna create one called Default here, which will elevate me to local admin status. Then I need to assign that policy to a user. So I'm gonna assign it to my user here, which is my administrator. 
Then to engage the PEDM, I'm going to select a profile and change it to that default profile, which should elevate me to local admin status. If I run this simple command and go, who am I? You can see that now I am the administrator. Also have some elevation logs that you can see exactly what happened and when. Now this is a brand new functionality, so stay tuned in the future for more exciting things. Now that's a wrap on what's new in version 2025.2. If something caught your eye and you want to explore a little deeper, the blog links are in the description. You'll find full breakdowns for each product, plus download links to get the latest versions. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for future updates, and drop your questions or feedback in the comments below. See you next time.